Oh, it's cold. Yeah, so we just got a whole lot of rain and man, North Carolina weather has been really weird lately. Like the other day, it was almost in the upper 60s and now it's in lower 40s and it's just go, it, it keeps going back and forth, back and forth. So yeah, super crazy weather. We had a lot of rain the last couple days. Um, so the water is kind of muddy right now. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my kayak and we're gonna drop off my son at school, come back and launch at the house. Yeah, so a lot of y'all have asked me about like my rigs and stuff. It's basically a Carolina rig. And at the end of it, there is a fly at the end. Um, I got the idea from Kayak Catfish on YouTube. That dude's awesome, Justin. Yeah, he gave me that idea. And I tell you what, it's, I mean, you guys have seen my videos. It's, if you guys have seen my videos, you see that it, it definitely works like 100% you can get these flies off amazon or catfishsumo.com whichever one but um i just go on amazon and i guess it just redirects me to uh catfish sumo but yeah this is what it looks like right here guys there's a swivel on top right there come down to the hook i use a 10 knot circle hook i usually use the uh 10 knot mustad demon circle hook but Today, I'm gonna switch up my rigs and I'm gonna try out the Ninja Tackle Circle Hook 9 knot because I don't know. So it's offset, and I use these at the beach when I'm fishing the surf a lot for like red drum, and they're really good hooks. So I don't know. I'm just switching rigs out today just for the heck of it. Why not? Um, and then at the bottom, about six to eight inches. We got, there's a fly right there. So I crimp mine. I don't tie them, I crimp them. You can tie them, it, it really doesn't matter. But this is the um, the crappy color. And I wanna say these orange ones are the yellow perch, I think. But I just ordered some tasty goldfish. And I think I got some, sh some more shad coming in. Like these are the shad right here. So I just feel like switching these all out. I'm gonna use the crappy color and the um, the yellow perch. Yeah, that wind is picking up, guys. That's not gonna stop us, right? So water temp is about 44, 45 degrees right now, which means the catfish are probably concentrated in a few holes down here. But yeah, so we got the net. Let's go try and get some bait, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put my rods on the rod holders because once we hit the bridge, obviously the rods won't clear the bridge. Yeah, one time I, I just totally forgot to put my rods down and my rods just slammed into the bridge, man. But yeah, they're fine, just a few scratches on them. If you guys are wondering about my rods, so there's this guy I know. Um, he makes custom rods. If you guys are wanting a custom rod made here in like the Winston-Salem area, it's Mott's Custom Rods. M-O-T-S, Mott's. He makes all my rods. Like the rods I actually care about, uh, like my, my surf rods and all that for the beach. He made all of them and he made these rods specifically for my kayak. Um, I think I have the butt to reel seat at about 12 inches, probably a little bit more, but if you see here, if you have a longer butt to reel seat, it's just gonna, it's gonna be too long. It's gonna touch you right here, which is why I didn't want that. So I got these made. Uh, lure weight on them is six to 12 ounces. So, you know, with the kind of fishing I'd do on the kayak, 
I suspend them. So I kind of need a heavy action rod. I'm using eight ounces of lead, guys. Um, but yeah, these are American Tackle Blanks. And yeah, these rods have been really stout, like super good rods, super strong. I told him to make them as strong as possible. I mean, I don't know how many times he wrapped my guides. Uh, probably a lot of times, just not positive, but yeah, hit him up. Uh, here's his logo, if I can get the scales off the rod. Mott's Custom Rods, right there, guys. Yeah, he even put a diamond logo on it. Um, the Cambodian flag, which is where I'm from. And my name, Darren Kim. So yeah, he's awesome, man. You guys hit him up. Mott's Custom Rods. Yeah, so it looks like we got a lot of bait fish at about 16 feet. But I'm not even going to waste my time casting the net here. Because I know that it's going to be way more concentrated down at the bridge at about 20 plus feet. So if I'm going to get my hands cold, I'm going to just waste my time doing it at the bridge. Not here. So I got the, I think that's an 8, I think this is an 8 foot net. I also have... This net right here I just got because this one has a lot of holes in it. Uh, I got this from Academy Sports right here. This one's seven feet. Um, the weights are lead. Yeah, they're, they're lead weights. y'all we are coming up on the bridge um yeah i'm gonna cast a net here if you don't feel comfortable casting a net off your kayak just don't do it um especially if your kayak isn't very stable uh i'm pretty comfortable with the cast net on my kayak um i haven't had any problems so if your kayak isn't isn't stable i don't recommend it at all but look check this out that is a lot of bait fish guys we are definitely looking for that right there so i'm gonna spot lock right here and i'm gonna just throw down right here hopefully i don't get snagged yeah that would, that would suck so bad but yeah check this out that's all bait right there guys Yeah, so we're at about 20 feet, exactly, right at 20 feet. babies yeah those are little babies all right let's move up just a little bit yeah what's that song called i think uh these boots are made for walking i think i think that's what it's called but i'll tell you one thing yeah these hands are made for fishing man i tell you what that spot lock on my trolling motor helps so much Oh yeah, guys, yeah, we got some good shad right there. Yes, we got about three good size shad. Three or four or five. We got, yeah, we got a good amount right there. We got about four or five good shads right there. All right, let's move just a little bit more. Just a little bit, just a smidge. Yeah, it's loaded over here. Check out the graph, guys. Lots of bait lots of bait that's all bait oh okay yep we're good we got more guys we got more heck yeah man so far so good all right let's move down a little bit more let's try right here spot lock Oh my gosh, sweet. Nice. Well, they're all small. Well, we got a couple big ones in there. I'm just a smidge. I 
I mean, I got, when I get bait fish like this, it gives me a little bit of hope for today's trip, guys. So that's good. That's what we're working with so far. Yeah, so anytime I spot lock, I sit down because the kayak just goes whoosh, just like that. So yeah, yeah, watch out. Bam, that was a good one. Yeah, we're good, guys. Look at that. We got more. Yeah, super fresh shad, guys. Super fresh. All right, let's go find some more bait. So this is the Holloway Church Road Bridge. If y'all are uh, familiar with High Rock Lake. I catch bait here all the time. We got some big ones in there too. But yeah, with the water temperature being in the lower 40s, we're gonna have bait in deeper water. Fish too, fish too. All right, let's move a little bit. Oh, that's a good one right there. Yeah, we got a few good ones in there. Yeah, guys, all right, I am done throwing the net. Check it out. That is a lot of good shad, super fresh. So I'm gonna put the net up real quick and we'll head on down, man. All right, y'all, if you guys can hear me, um, so we're basically posted up in about 23 feet right now. Um, it's a pretty deep hole. And what it is is, if you can look right here, the shoreline is right here and then it just dips down gradually dips down and just drops right here so you can see there's a lot of bait fish down there there's a few big marks down there this is where i've had the most success when water temperature is around uh the lower 40s so we're gonna spot lock here for an hour or so and just see what happens yeah so if the wind continues to like pick up like this we're probably going to move to another spot where we can be shielded just a little bit from the wind but we're just going to do head section and body section uh head sections on the front and body sections on the back yeah, and these shad, man, these are really good size. Super fresh, super bloody. That's what we want. So let's go ahead and get baited up real quick. Oh no, oh no. My bait just fell down in my, oh, the scupper hole right here. Oh no, that was a good piece too. All right, we'll just get, we'll just use this one real quick. Oh, there goes my phone. Just gonna have to wait. All right, first rod going down. All right, front rods are in. Those are the head pieces and the mid sections will be in the back rods. Here guys, I think we're hooked up. Oh yeah, that's a good fish guys, look at that. That's a good fish, man. That's the head section right there. That's a good fish. Oh, it's a it's a blue. Nice, we got a blue. He's all tangled up in my line. So he's got the the uh, the fly wrapped around him too. He went yeah he went for the bait though. But we got him nice. Let's get let's land him real quick. Yeah, he's, he hit that bait and started rolling, man. <sighs> nice. Yeah, y'all. He went for the uh, the head section. He even gave us our bait back. All right, y'all, there we go. Our first, our first fish. It's a blue. So the skunk is officially off the boat. Hey, I got new grips too, check them out, they're sweet. Yeah, Amazon, man. Yeah, these are really sweet grips. Uh, but yeah, there we go. First blue, y'all. So we'll let him go. He ate the head section. All right, buddy. I'll catch you next time. guys right here 
Oh man, he's got me bent over, man. Oh man, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. He ate that same headpiece that we just caught that fish on. Nice. Oh, that's a good fish. Guys, that is a good fish. Yeah. Come on. Come on, buddy. That's a good fish. Oh, it's a flat. We got a flathead, guys. Oh, he's barely hooked. Uh-oh. He is barely hooked, man. I mean, he's hooked, but not really good. Let's try to land him real quick. Yeah, he ate that uh, same bait. I just dropped back down. We caught that blue on. Guys, that's the second flathead of uh, this week. Like I said, it's it's February right now and you don't just come across them like that. That's pretty sweet. He hit it like a flathead too. There's just a big thump. They just swam off with it. Hold on, buddy. Open up. Open up. Yeah, we got him, guys. Awesome. Sweet, man. Yeah, um, y'all check out his belly. Look at that. His belly has mud all over it. So, yeah, he's been definitely just chilling on the bottom. That's all mud right there. Look at all that. Ugh. Awesome. All right, let's get a front camera view of it real quick. We got us a flathead. Sweet. Like I said, the audio probably sucks because that wind is kicking y'all, but that is a nice flathead. Awesome. All right. I'll catch you next time. I'll see you later, man. That's it. Guys, this rod right here. Is he hooked up? Yeah, we got him. Oh yeah, he's pulling. We got him. He's small. Oh, nice, a blue. Heck yeah, man. He went for the uh, body section right there. Ooh, he's barely hooked. All right. All right, y'all, there we go. Another fish, it's a blue. He went for the body section. So yeah, pretty active right here. Let's drop some more baits down. Sweet. See you later, man. All right, y'all, we're gonna give it about 20 more minutes because it's super windy right here. Check it out. It is very choppy. Right here, y'all. I was about to move, and my battery died on my GoPro, and we're hooked up. So maybe we shouldn't move. It's just so windy. Look at that. Oh, it's just a little channel. All right, guys. We got us another fish. It's a little channel. Yeah, it's super windy out here. So if it sounds like I'm screaming, that's why. Right here, guys. Yeah, we're hooked up again. Nice. Man, it's pushing out here. Oh, it's a channel. It's a little channel. All right, y'all, just a little channel. Yeah, there, there's a lot of fish here. There's also a lot of wind. That's right here. Right here, I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll down on it. Yeah, we got him. We got another one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, my drag is like super tight right now. Loosen that up. Jesus. I don't want it that tight. That's too loose. Yeah, that's too good. Oh, a channel. Sweet. Yeah, we got him, guys. We got another one. Yeah, he ate a body section, I think. There we go. We got him, guys. We got him. Sweet. Keep catching fish like this, 
yeah, I'll sit here a little longer. Maybe all day. I can deal with these swells. Right here, guys. Yeah, we got another one. Yeah. We got another one, guys. It's a channel. Y'all, check it out. So this is the uh, crappy one. The crappy color fly. So there we go, guys. Another channel. Sweet. All right, buddy. Catch you next time. Right here, y'all. Yeah, we just moved spots and we're hooked up. Uh, I've had baits in for not even two minutes. Sweet. What is it? Yeah, we're in about 20 feet. Still a little windy, but not as bad as over there. Oh, it's a channel and the fly got him. Look at that, guys. There we go, guys. That's a little channel right there. Yeah, I think he might have tried to go for the actual bait, but I mean, he missed it probably and swam right into the fly. Right here, guys. I just dropped this one down. Yeah, he's hooked up. We got him. That's a blue. That's a nice blue. Nah, I thought there was something on that. All right, y'all, there we go. We got us a blue. Yeah, not, I mean, not a whole lot of quality to these fish. But uh, quantity wise, yeah, we're definitely getting them today, guys. Oh, no, he let go. Dang, man, he let go. Yeah, he came back for it. All right. Oh, this rod, this rod, guys. This rod right here. This rod right here. Let's reel up. Let's reel up on him. Yeah, we got him, guys. Yeah, we got him. Oh, just a little, what is that? It's a little old blue right there. Yeah, he's small. Probably the smallest of the day. But hey, it's a fish. Sweet, man. All right, buddy. I'll catch you next time. Ah, oh, another channel. Here you go, guys. Oh, I just got hit. All right, well, there you go, guys. Another channel. Oh, yeah, we got him. Oh, oh he's thrashing around. Uh, oh, it's a blue. And he went for the fly, guys. I don't know if you saw that or not, but he went for the fly. Sweet. Well, we didn't we didn't land him, but if you saw that, he came right off and he was on the fly. All right, y'all. So we are at about 24, 25 feet. Lots of bait fish down there. A whole lot. So we're going to sit here for a little bit. Right here. Nice. Nice. We got him. I just dropped baits down, guys. Like, not even two minutes. Awesome, man. Oh, that's a nice blue, guys. Heck yeah. That's a nice blue. Yeah, we just moved spots. Uh, dropped baits in. Not even one, two minutes, maybe. And boom. Got us a nice blue. Heck yeah, man. What an awesome day it's been. Yeah, so I still got a whole lot of like big shad left, but on one rod, I'm gonna put maybe four little shad on one hook, just for the heck of it. It won't hurt. Draw it just like that. Yep. Right here, guys. Right here. Oh, man. Nice. Oh, he went for the fly, guys. Look at that. Sweet. He went for the fly. There we go, guys. You guys see that? He knocked the top bait off. But look, he went for the fly. Yeah, man. I, I wish that sun wasn't in the way, but we got another flathead on, on the kayak, guys. There we go. Nice. And he went for the fly. I can't believe it. That's that's awesome right there, guys. 
Yeah. Heck yeah, man. All right, y'all, that's a little bit better view of him right there. Heck yeah, we got him. Yeah, like I said, he went for the fly, guys. The crappy colored fly. Well, there you go. Nice flathead right there. Yeah, he was just chilling, man. He, he didn't pull or anything until I lifted up on that rod. Well, there you go. Guys, right here. As soon as I put that flathead back, right here, we're hooked up again, guys. Oh, sweet, man. Man, I wish I didn't have to leave. That's a channel right there, guys. We gas another channel. Here we go, y'all. Just another, another channel. Another channel and another fish. They just keep coming. Guys, we got another fish. I was on the phone with my mom and bam. Give me a second, guys. Is he hooked up? Oh, he's still hooked up, yeah. Oh, it's a little channel. Sweet, man. There you go, guys. Just a little channel. There goes another one. Heck yeah, man. Let's let him go. Yeah, so the trip is almost over. So I got all this leftover bait right here. I'm just gonna give it to all the fish because apparently, well, obviously, they're really hungry. All right, guys. So it's almost time to go back. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go back to the spot where we fished earlier, uh, which is kind of towards the house a little bit. Uh, we'll fish there for, for about 30 minutes and if we don't catch anything, well, we still had a really good day. All right, so I'm basically out of big baits. This is all I got left. Everything else is super small. So I'm just gonna use almost whole baits. I'm just gonna cut the tail off and we'll use larger baits, guys. Why not? That's all I got left, so we'll do that. But right here, y'all. Does he have it? That's gotta be a flathead, man. Guys, my GoPro died on my head, but this looks like a flathead, probably. Maybe. Oh, oh man, that's a good one, guys. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Yeah, the GoPro on my head died, so. Yeah, we gotta deal with what we got. Oh, it's a flat, I knew it. It's a flathead. I knew it, man. Nice, we got him. All right, y'all. What a way to end the video. With this fish right here. Heck yeah, man, we got another flathead. Awesome. Yeah, he went for the uh, for the shad. Yeah, he just, I saw my rod tip just start to fold over and I immediately knew it, it had to be a flathead. I mean, there, there's no other fish that does that. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. That's how you end the video right there. Heck yeah, we got him. So yeah, it's, it's getting late now. Um, if you guys made it this far, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate y'all watching, man. That means a lot to me. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time. Look at that. See you later.